are providing all the services for these elements. Unfortunately, UNANI and the U.S. forces are not taking any serious action in this regard. Three, the next issue is the unjust and unlawful siege of Ashraf, which has already taken 22 months. Based on tables that we provided to the representatives of UNAMI and the U.S. forces and diplomatic community in Baghdad, the access to life necessities had been either zero or close to zero compared to the same in 2008. For example, they have not permitted the entry of any food preparation facility, also the entry of parts for water systems, generators, and vehicles have all been zero compared to year 2008. As the electrical items and other maintenance supplies, only 27% had been allowed in. Only about 1% of basic construction items have entered ASHA and none of items for maintenance of buildings. Over the past 22 months, no items have been allowed in for repairing buildings. Many appliances in Ashraf are broken down as the entry of the spare parts have been prevented. We have not been able to repair them and they are mostly out of order. You may not believe, but among the banned items are paper, light bulbs, clothes, and many ordinary items like water hoses. Gasoline is not permitted to enter Ashraf, and under such conditions, even bicycles that people use for transportation are not permitted and are sent back. This is why the government of Maliki has banned the residents from any job or occupation to make their living for the past 22 months, 